2326 here. Today I'm going to be showing how to set up an, op an in the groove USB and how to patch the songs in said USB. So, for those of you who don't know what I mean, uh, in the groove is like a dance dance revolution machine where instead of playing the songs that are preloaded onto the machine, you can put your own custom music into it and everything. And the machine kind of sucks if you don't because it only has like 20 built in songs to it and they're all like rigid and whatever music so it's not very good is my point so you're just gonna need any USB uh, you're gonna need it solely for this you're not gonna wanna have anything else in the USB I think that would mess it up so I have a uh, 4 gigabyte SanDisk cruiser USB I just had lying around and I was using it earlier to transfer in the groove to another laptop that I had so you're not gonna wanna you don't want this folder uh, whatever, I'm, I'm just gonna get rid of it, I don't need it anymore, so, uh, I'll just have that going in the background, so, basically you're just gonna need to create one folder in the USB, it's gonna be, need to be in the root of the USB, called in the groove 2, now it has to be exactly as, as I have it here, where it's like capital I, space, capital T, space, capital G, and then space 2, if you don't do that, it, it will not read your USB, it won't load up your songs, anything. So, inside this folder, you're going to notice that I have all this stuff. Now, that's only because I put my USB into the, uh, in the Groove 2 machine. So, all you're going to need to do is create the Songs folder. Again, you're going to need a capital S in Songs. And that's all you're going to need. You don't need any of this stuff. Um, basically once you put your USB into the machine it'll automatically give you all of this stuff so nothing to worry about so just create the songs folder and here you'll put the folders containing the aug files and the uh, step chart files so that's basically all you need to do to set up the USB it's a pretty, e pretty easy process one would think it'd be more complicated than this so next I'm gonna show you how to patch the songs basically what this means uh, if you create, yeah, I mean, if you have a USB that you put in this thing, songs can only be about two and a half minutes long, which really sucks because, I mean, this one right here, the Applejack theme one right here, this was about two minutes and 40 seconds long, I believe. So, basically what ended up happening, I couldn't run it, and it was just 10 seconds over. It wouldn't let me play the song today. So, because I forgot to patch this one. And this one was made for keyboard, so I couldn't even play it because it's pretty crazy. I just put it on there as a test. So, what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to download the In The Groove 2 patch. I'll have a link in the description for that. So, using the patch is easy. It's going to come in a zip folder that you can open with uh, WinRAR or any type of uh, zip, unzipper, I don't know what to call it. So... Anyway, you're going to need to open the In The Groove 2 patch folder. In here, you'll find the uh, In The Groove AUG patch here. So, all you're going to need to do is find that Songs folder in the USB there. And drag it over to In The Groove AUG patch. Now, a prompt, I mean a uh, command prompt is going to come up. That says, you have chosen to patch the following files and directories to 105 seconds. And it's gonna have the path of the file that you just uh, that you just dragged into it. So it's uh, J Drive in the Groove to Songs. Proceed, yes or no. You're gonna just type Y and hit Enter. And this is gonna automatically patch it so that on the machine it'll show up as it being 105 seconds instead of it being uh, two minutes and 30 seconds as it did for me. So the machine will actually run my song the next time I put the USB into the machine. Again, a pretty easy process. One would think it was harder than it actually is. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now that these uh, songs here are patched, all I need to do is just pop the USB into the machine, and it'll run both of them properly. So, uh, that's all. Thanks for watching. Any questions, I will try my best to answer them in the comments. Uh, so, see ya.